بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرخلی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل الحقدت من لسانی یفقہ قولی او مائی لارڈ اوپن مائی چیس فار می اینڈ میک مائی ٹاسک ایزی فار می اینڈ ان ٹائی دا نارڈ فرام مائی ٹنگ سو ڈیٹ دے انڈرسٹینڈ مائی اسپیچ السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس اٹس می ہرا طارق یور کرانک کریکولم ٹیچر فار دا گریٹ تھری And today we are going to start our lesson number 7 that is conditions of prayer. So let's begin the class. You all are requested to open page number 33 from your course book. Today we will be covering reading and explanation of the topic. Conditions of the prayer. Students as we all know that before conditions of prayer we have read about what is prayer what are the timings for the prayer and what are the five prayers which became obligatory on the muslim to perform in a day we know that prayer is that holy act which has to be performed by every muslim five times a day and on the daily basis we perform five prayers fajr zohar asr maghrib and isha and all these five prayers have to be performed at their fixed timing now there are certain conditions before starting the prayers so we will be studying about those conditions you all are requested to take your pencils in the hand and underline the hard words along with you and highlight the important information with you so let's begin the reading it was time for praying mother called fatima to get ready for the prayer fatima was praying for the first time Mother showed her how to perform wuzu. Now, here is the small girl Fatma and it's her first time that she is going to offer the prayer. And she don't know what are the conditions for the prayer. The, her mother told her that before starting the prayer, she has to perform the wuzu. Wuzu is that act which we have to, which the Muslims have to perform before starting the prayer. Fatima What else should I do before saying my prayer? Mother, we must you must make sure that your body, clothes and place of prayer are clean and pure. Fatima asked from her mother that mother, what should I need to do before starting my prayer or saying my prayer? The mother told her that you must make sure that your body, clothes and place of prayer are clean and pure. کہ جب آپ نماز سٹارٹ کرنے لگی ہو تو اس سے پہلے آپ یہ میک شیور کر لو کہ آپ کا آپ کا جو آپ کی جو باڈی ہے آپ کے کلوتھس اور وہ جگہ جہاں پہ آپ نماز ادا کرنے جا رہی ہو وہ صاف ستھرے ہوں سب سے پہلے تو یو ہیو ٹو پرفارم وزو دین یو ہیو ٹو میک شیور یو ہیو ٹو کیپ آل دیز تھنگ فالوئنگ تھنگس ان یور مائنڈ دیٹ آپ کی باڈی یور کلوتھس اینڈ دا پلیس آف پریئر شوڈ بی کلین اینڈ پیور اینڈ یو should also make the intention of prayer okay before starting the namaz or prayer you have to make the intention of the prayer fatima asked from her mother that can i pray at any time i want mother prayers must be offered at their fixed timing it's not like okay, we can perform the prayer of fajr at the time of zohar they need to be performed at a specific time As Allah says in Quran, prayers indeed have been enjoined on believers, enjoined on believers at their fixed timing. کہ یقیناً نماز مسلمانوں پر وقت کی پابندی کے ساتھ فرض کر دی گئی ہے. Fatima, what kind of clothes a person should wear when he prays? کہ جب ایک بندہ نماز ادا کرتا ہے تو کیا کوئی سپیسیفک لباس ہے جو اس کو پہننا چاہیے؟ Now she has asked a very important question from her mother that okay, is there any certain or specific dress code before we start our prayer? Then the mother replied to Fatima, a man should be covered from navel to knees. Okay, for a man it is compulsory, it is important that his body should be covered from navel to knees. While A woman should be completely covered except her face and hands. کہ ایک مرد کے لیے ضروری ہے کہ from his navel to his knees 
कि उसके नाव से लेकर उसके घुटनों तक वो सारा कवर हो और औरत के लिए कंपलसरी ये है उसके लिए ये इम्पॉर्टेंट या फिर मस्ट है ये चीज़ कि उसकी पूरी बॉडी कवर्ड हो एक्सेप्ट हर फेस एंड हैंड्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज कॉल सतर दिस इज कॉल सतर सतर इज़ एन अरेबिक वर्ड एंड इट अरेबिक वर्ड है ये इसका मतलब क्या होता है हिडन इट मीन्स हिडन समथिंग विच इज़ कम्प्लीटली हिडन वी हैव डिस्कस हेयर टू इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स दैट के अ सतर ऑफ अ मैन इज वर्ड दैट हिज बॉडी शुड बी कवर्ड फ्राम नेवल टू नीज फॉर अ वमेन इट इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट हर होल बॉडी शुड बी कवर्ड एक्सेप्ट हर फेस एंड हैंड्स दैन फातमा आज टू हर मदर दर विच डायरेक्शन डू आई फेस वेन आई से माई फेयर कि मुझे अपना फेस कौन सी डायरेक्शन की तरफ रखना चाहिए जब मैं अपनी नमाज अदा कर रही हूँ The mother replied, "One must face Qibla during prayers. It is the Kaaba in Mecca. So where we need to do our face in which direction? It should be towards Kaaba while we are offering the prayers. It should be towards Qibla. And what is Qibla? It is the Kaaba in Mecca. The clip students, the word Qibla is an Arabic word." and it refers to the direction that should be faced when muslims pray qibla is the arabic word and it refers to the direction that should be faced when muslim prays so these are the certain conditions which a muslim should follow while offering the prayers there are the two important things we have discussed today in the conditions of prayer that before starting our prayer we must show that we have to perform wuzu then we need to take care of this thing that our body our clothes place of prayer should be neat and clean then we have discussed further that the prayers should be offered at their fixed timings then we have discussed about the dress ke what should a muslim put on while he is offering he or she is offering the prayer then we have discussed about the satar that the satar of a man is what that it should be covered from the navel to knees and for a woman a woman it is important to be completely covered except her face and hands then we have discussed about that which direction do we need to face when we are offering the prayer so it must be towards qibla and it is in the it is the kaaba in makka you can see here in the picture the dress of a man and woman how a man should dress while offering the prayer and how a woman should dress while she is offering the prayer that his her whole body should be covered except her hands and face all right then students coming to your homework what you have to do that you have to first give the heading of lesson number 7 in your qc notebooks then you have to give the heading of the unit name that is conditions of prayer then you would do the question number 1 which is which direction do muslim face when they offer their prayers then you have to write the answers in your notebook that muslim face qibla when they offer their prayers that is your question number 1 then you have your question number 2 what is satar of a woman so we have discussed right now that a satar of a woman is she should be completely covered except her face and hands question number 1 and question number 2 you have to do in your you see notebooks and you have to write the index as well along with the date lesson number 7 question number 1 question number 2 then you have question number 3 that is true and false you have to solve this question in your qc book your first statement is a person must make the intention of prayer 
So, yes. Prayers can be offered at any time. Cross. A person should be in a state of wuzu when he offers his prayer. Yes. A person can offer prayers in impure clothes. No. A dress should be pure. A man must cover his whole body. No. So we have discussed that his it's important for a man to cover his body from the navel to knee. Then sixth statement is a woman can offer her prayers with uncovered head. No. The last statement is the body of a woman should be properly covered except her face and hands. So it this is a true statement. So students, this is all about your lesson number seven. Keep this thing in your mind that you have to solve question number one and question number two along with the headings in your QC notebook. And index is also important, all right? So hopefully students, the lecture was fruitful. Jazakallah khair. Allah Hafiz.